What up, folks? Welcome to another episode of the Sharkman X Show. You know, I'm your host, Shark. Uh, let's see. We're about to go into a breakdown or my thoughts on uh, Season 1, Episode 6 of Invincible. Uh, Invincible. Great show, great show. Uh, but yeah, the so the sh this episode starts up with like uh, a guy named Doug Chustin and he's harassing a bunch of girls and he's drunk and he's on campus in the middle of the night and um, the <clears throat> talking about his daddy's rich he's going to inherit a lot of money you know all this uh, I think it's cat call but I'm not sure but it's still just yeah he's just giving them a hard time um, and probably harassing them too anyway he gets kidnapped and he gets turned into a cyborg <laughs> and uh, the reason I'm laughing is because before he gets turned into a cyborg like the guy who's like kidnapped him who's turning him into a cyborg he calls him a nerd <laughs> yo if you ever strapped and you got kidnapped and you you harass like you make fun of like your kidnapper oh lord they're not gonna go easy on you but yeah, I thought that was funny. He, yeah, he gets turned to a robot or cyborg. Um, and uh, in the next scene, man, we get to see what Battle Beast has done in the last episode. Battle Beast has put the new gardens in the hospital. A lot of them. He put, he put what you call it, uh, Black Samson. Uh, Monster Girl is fighting for her life in the whole episode uh yeah and yeah the they need to train more or something man that guy was a like i said battle beast he's crazy uh yeah we also see robot uh, try to uh, uh save uh monster girl the whole time so we get to see a compassionate side and um well he showed her the most compassion i don't know about the others but uh, so I think Robot has a thing for Monster Girl. So, yeah. Let's see uh, what else will we got, folks. Um, there is a conversation that happens uh, between uh, Cecil and Omni Man, and Omni Man pretty much said, um, talking about the murder case that happened in Episode One. Um, yeah, he's saying Damien's is all Damien's fault. So he's pointing all the fingers on Damien and yeah Omni Man man who that guy and in this episode we see uh, William a little bit more and um, he has a crush on this guy named Rick and <clears throat> he's gonna go visit him on campus and uh, Amber and Amber and Mark tag along so they get to they go to campus. Um, yeah, speaking of Amber and Mark, man, the whole episode, their struggle love. I'm tired of their struggle love. Like, jeez, like, Mark, I don't know why he has a relationship or he has to lie. It's too much lying. I understand where she's coming from, and I understand where he's coming from. So. But man, it's kind of hard to be a superhero, keep identity, where you go in, and all this stuff. You have to disappear in the middle of nowhere. But the whole episode, there's struggle love. And so I'm not a fan of struggle love. And so there you have it. Um, we also see, uh, we also learned that Eve, Adam Eve, or Eve, like she wants to, uh, she wants to skip college. She said, I don't need college. Like, and it's, she just wants to do superhero work. She wants to save the world. And we get to see her. Um, go go out and try to save the world and so in this episode so that's really cool um, and then there's uh, there's this one big fight between her and her dad like and um, her dad just he's super traditional and um, he wants her to be safe I guess but he's the way he's expressing it is not coming out right in my opinion like I know he wants his daughter to be safe and he doesn't care how powerful she is but <clears throat> yeah there's like uh that's I think that was a miscommunication on their end like 
And so uh, some people are good at expressing their feelings. Other people are not. The words come out wrong all the time. And so, and yeah, and we also see uh, this new character named St. Clair. St. Clair is a smart scientist and um, he's, he's the one who experimented on a lot of the people that got turned into cyborg. Um, well, yeah, he, well, he turns uh, definitely, we later on learned that it was him that's doing all the experiments and stuff. Um, yeah, that was, and he gets his, his butt kicked later on by Williams. <laughs> William, <laughs> like, just makes him bleed, and then Invincible freaking almost broke his jaw. I think, yeah, Invincible broke his jaw. That was crazy. Um, yeah, and so we um we later like also see like uh what happens to uh doug cheston he comes to uh, he comes out of nowhere like on campus and and invincible defeats him and he got lucky because uh doug the cyborg he's like uh he so he sees his own reflection and he commits uh i can't say the word on youtube Let's just say he deletes himself. Um, yeah, he deletes himself. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, if you watch the show. Anyway, what else we got? What else we got? Let's see. What do I remember? Yeah, and <clears throat> we uh, in the fight in the Doug fight, uh, William figures out uh, Mark is in invincible, and so. Now he's super obsessed, like, he says things later on in the show. He says, like, let me put on your uniform, take me for a flight, and all this stuff. And so, yeah, he figured it out. And what else? Yeah, and Deborah, Deborah was on a case, and she, uh, she, you know, she find the uniform, um, the murder evidence, I believe. Like, I don't know the term. It's not a murder weapon, but his uniform was the evidence they needed uh and omni man has killed a lot the 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 justice uh or not the justice league but the guardians of the globe he killed him he, he, he finished them off and uh she had uh a guy named art arthur like analyze the the what you call like the uniform his uh and he found a lot of things a lot of d different dna's and uh, and the whole time, Omni Man was in space, here and there, what they were thinking, and <laughs> I just feel bad for Art. <laughs> I he's like I'm afraid to tell anybody. <laughs> uh, that guy is scared for his life. That poor old man. He's like I don't have a lot of left, but let me just enjoy my time, folks. I don't have time for this. Yeah, that was crazy, man. And um. We yeah the whole like the whole episode we also see Eve going on a world tour, of just saving, stopping things, natural disasters, helping people around the world. She even had she also made a house, uh, a tree house, you know, and so she's now living on her own. So she's become a strong independent woman. Good for her. Uh, but what else have we got? Rick. Who's also um, uh, William Williams' crush? Um, he got uh, he gets kidnapped, and he gets turned into a cyborg. And oh wow, that was crazy. There's a f later on like Invincible comes into the sewer and saves like try to save William. William also gets kidnapped, um, and Rick is like. Rick is damaged, y'all. And so um, he needs a lot of help. Um, and he kind of like, they saved them. And yeah, and that's where William goes crazy. And he he beats the crap out of St. Clair. So yeah, that was cool. Um, the Yeah, Deb, Deb, Deborah, she had enough of her husband and she just calls him out. She just, she knows too much now. It's too late. She knows too much. And um, 
before we get to the extra scene at the end, uh, Omni Man gets angry and he punches a hole into the wall, which I think is a good symbol of his marriage and what's happening. Um, him punching in the wall, I, I, what I believe signifies like um, his marriage is done. He's exposed a lot of things, you know, that punching the hole means a lot. So if you have not picked that up, like, yeah, I'm telling you now. So this is why you come here and uh, hear my rants. And <laughs> yeah, but I thought that was a good, like, you know, symbol punching the hole. And so anyway, we uh, we also learned um, uh, towards the end. Um, yeah, the Molar twins are going to the graveyard, but also they also almost done with uh, the project, um, which you call like robot has given them. They're making a clone, but we don't know. We believe is uh, Rex clone. So, because he took Rex DNA anyway. So, we don't know if that that's gonna what's gonna happen next after that. And so. Man, the episode, this episode overall, I thought it was kind of light. Like, I feel bad for uh, Rick, and he got turned into a robot. He was a nice guy, um, cyborg, I mean. Um, but overall, like, this is the last episode. Oh, my God. Episode, episode one and episode five. Like, those are the deadliest episodes so far. So we don't know what is going to happen. So look out for episode number seven with me. And, um, and you know, let's just uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts of what you think about this episode. And I'll see you when I see you. Until next time, you know what it is. Shark Man is out. Peace, folks.